All right, everybody, here at Toboggan, and I'm just doing this because I have the zit of the century right now, and it needs to be covered up, and it needs whatever ointment that's under it. <laughs> Anyways, don't mind this. We are at Toboggan, one of my favorite courses. Um, I might be a little bit biased because I have a very good success rate here. But the past aside, this place is absolutely incredible. Rolling hills, or no, more like toboggan hills. You can go sledding in the winter here and get some serious speed. This is one of the courses that has the most variety. Elevation, woods, it's got it all. I think it's, I think it's a top five course, at least for me. Absolutely love it. Got a practice round, it's a little wet. It's not the best conditions, but I just flew in today and got practice. This is vlog worthy. Lovely. That's exactly what I need. What's for dinner? No, let's go get some grub. Get it. Oh, we got it. Hey, cinnamon sugar pretzel. I'll take you guys back to the vehicle. Recap of day one. A lot of waiting. Originally, my tea time was supposed to be at 2.30, and then it got pushed back all the way till 4.30. Made it to hole 12. Another rain slash lightning delay. Got back out there, though. Finished the round. It's off the course at around 8.30, and uh, it was a great round. Definitely left a few out there, but had a very steady pace. Nothing too spectacular. Made a few bonus birdie putts, which felt good but uh, just was overall pretty solid. I wasn't really paying attention to what anyone else was doing and uh, just tried to play me versus the course. And that's, uh, that's been my mantra. I feel like uh, lately I've been getting caught up in the, the whole environment of the tournament. And when I was back home, I was playing some exceptional disc golf. And that was me just going out there, having fun, but also just me playing the course me versus the course me versus myself i think that's a, a good mantra because i'm out here to be the best disc golfer i can be not comparing myself to others comparison is the thief of joy don't let your joy be taken from you that was weird after day two still tied for the lead and i actually don't know what the heck else is going on i just know that me and kevin are tied right now i do know ab and chris dickerson are on the card but i was examining my way of speaking and my previous um vlogs and i put too much weight on the top spots even though i try to actively ignore it and for me there's certain types of people but Looking back at some of my greatest successes, I've figured out that it's me versus me. It's me not checking scores. I'm just out there to do the best I can. And uh, whatever the best I can do, that's what it is. And I think that's a, for me, it's a beautiful way to play. And I want to strive to keep that because opposed to comparing yourself to others, because that's that's all disc golf is, is comparing your score, other people's scores, or at least that's what disc golf can be. And I don't enjoy that game of disc golf. I enjoy going out and being the best performer, being the best competitor, or not even competitor, because the only person I'm comp competing against is this guy. So a lot of the time I'm going to the mirror and saying you versus you or me versus me and shout out to julian marquez who uh who i played around with uh around two weeks ago had a good conversation and uh he's been a, a great hype man holding me accountable round three i'm at the toboggan and i'm out here to play the best that i can play <laughs> Yeah, I 
And that is a wrap. Congratulations, Simon. You played really well. Um, Bogey free final round that's gonna be hard to beat. And my my tournament was really good as well. I focused on the, the me versus me mentality and I was able to stick it through the end, even though ultimately I didn't get the, the result I was looking for. Uh, I can be very proud of myself during the event, how I fought, some personal evolutions took place. So I'm very grateful for the opportunity to have a great week in Michigan and meet a lot of great fans, stay with an amazing host and uh, meet some um, cool people. That all said, it does really stink losing the Simon, but of course I'm happy for him uh, in a friendly way, but uh, next time, next time. Tomorrow I'm flying to Vermont to play the world championships expect a vlog from there and uh man season's wrapping up and uh feeling good and i just want to thank every single one of you for your support uh i got some of the best fans in the world so i appreciate you all let's do it i'll see you guys in vermont peace and keep on dreaming Whew.